What's going on guys? It's Fatty Manson here, your personal coach. And uh, what we're gonna do today is we're gonna go over a uh, corrective squat exercise. Um, so who I have here is Samson. What's up everybody, how are you guys doing? And Samson came to me and uh, he's having some issues with his squat. So why don't you explain to them what's going on with your squat? So it seems like every time I squat, whenever I go down, my toes, when they turn out, and it's so hard for me to come down all the way trying to get my ass to rest. Can I say ass to rest? You said it. Okay, I can say ass to rest. Cool. PG-13. Okay, all right. So it's hard for me to do that. So I want Fatty to kind of help me out, figure out what's going on, what if I have any imbalances or anything like that going on, and just fix the squat. What do you do so you can hit that? Um, I try to roll out as much as possible, try to stretch out before. Um, and when I do, if I to get to that, Sometimes I have to use plates. So Why don't plates. you just demonstrate for them? Thank you. So the plates, and I'll go down. Come back up. Can you give them a side view? Okay. Use the plates to come down. Without the plates, I can go as far as maybe the right hand. That's about it. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go over an overhead squat assessment. Basically with this, and um, we can tell a lot of uh, muscles that are short, lengthened, tight, weak, and what it basically is, it's just hands above our head, and we just squat down to where it's comfortable. So uh, Samson, let me have you uh, just do that. Just squat down, hands above your head. So the first thing I'm noticing are his heels coming off the floor, a little instability, and then also uh, from the side, uh, his uh, arms start falling forward, so go ahead, try to keep your arms as high as possible, don't worry about depth, depth will get there, don't worry about depth, just squat. Okay. Start from the bottom up, so the first thing um, is going to be tight calves, which you do roll out your calves, okay, and you, you also do yoga as well, yeah, right? Yeah, I do yoga. So, why don't you tell them a little bit about your athletic background? So, I played basketball my whole life, played football a couple of years. Tried to play baseball, it's probably one of the worst ever, but that's besides the point. But yeah, so. You don't have to be modest, man. Uh, you can tell you played college? Oh, <laughs> I did play college basketball, uh, played at Oxford Community College, and then went to try to play at Central College in Kalai, Iowa. That's a whole other story. We won't worry about that right now. But yeah, so. Long story short, we got an athlete on our hands. I know Samson, he does yoga. He does stretching, he does uh, a lot of uh, corrective exercises. We're gonna go through a few different stretches. We're gonna try and uh, break some possible uh, soft tissue up. We're gonna actually try to lengthen some muscles and open up our hips as well. Uh, so the first thing what we're gonna do is we're gonna roll out our soleus and our gastrocnemius. So your soleus, the sheet underneath here, okay? And then the gastrocnemius, gastrocnemius is the meat of the calf. Go ahead and let's roll out your coleus, so the bottom portion. You can do one leg at a time, or if you uh, can handle it, you can do both at the same time, whatever you feel like. And then what you want to do is you kind of want to find a, like a hot spot. So if you find an area that's really tight, just hang out there. You want to typically hold for about 30 seconds mistake when foam rolling this goes for any body part of foam rolling is you will find the spot and you just kind of knead over it when you find the hot spot just hang out there for a good 30 seconds and usually it releases around that time you might already know that are watching an elevated heel will also help you so squat shoes will help you get down into that position we don't want to mask the problem we want to be able to fix it so if you're getting squat shoes to just mask the problem and not fix it, you're eventually gonna run into an injury down the road. Next, let's foam roll the lats. So for, for the lats, 
everyone's lats are different, um, but basically from here, from down here all the way up, and then uh, palm facing up while you're rolling out your lats. Same thing, if you find a tight area, just hang out there. Trying to lengthen your arm. Very important, when you are rolling, you want to always try and do it in the most lengthened position, uh, for the most part at least, because if you were foam rolling here or hands up overhead and it's not completely over, um, we're not getting the area that's tight. Now, um, you might need a partner for it. We're gonna get your anterior tibialis, which is the outside of your, the front of your calf, okay? Um, so that's probably a tight area as well, which is why we're leaning a little bit forward and uh, our heels are getting off the floor. So uh, go ahead and put one leg up. All right, so we're gonna put it on the soleus. And what you're gonna be doing is slowly rolling out with some resistance. All right, so the resistance is gonna be here with the band, okay? Do you feel a stretch right here? Okay. So now we're just breaking up the, the tight muscles. What we're gonna do is we're gonna lengthen uh, our soleus and our gastrocnemius. So just a typical calf stretch. Um, we're gonna, you can lean on someone or lean forward. But what you wanna do is you wanna squeeze your glute that's back and uh, that should lengthen your gastrocnemius and soleus. So. No, you want to try and keep your heel flat, and then you want you want to flex this glute, and then you should feel. And the last thing we're going to be doing after this, an activation exercise and also a hip opening exercise. When Samson came to me initially, I was asking him, you know, what stretches has he done? What stretches has he not done? Um, I was actually pretty surprised at the amount that he has already done to try and uh, fix the issue himself. Uh, so one of the questions I asked you the other day was, do you do like hip opening exercises? The first thing you could do, just stand straight, hold for a good 30 seconds, activate the glute, uh, get your neuromuscular efficiency. So when you hear mind muscle connection, neuromuscular efficiency. Uh, the other one that you were doing is which one? Opening up your hips. So I want you to just go ahead and demonstrate what you were, what you visited. Here, here, I'll come here, all the way, open up. A lot harder than it looks, guys. Come back here. What I want you to do is something maybe a little bit different than what you're used to, um, and what it's going to be is so you you're doing this opening up right um, what I want you to do is just kind of swing your leg right. okay back and forth while you're doing this so if you're gonna swing your right leg make sure your left hip is not wiggling okay. so basically we're keeping this tight and we're opening this up okay. yeah just kind of swing it little by little just let it get there so don't force it as well right yeah, don't, yeah, don't, uh, don't, don't like force the, but uh, little by little, you do want to start coming out a little bit wider if you can. Okay. So his left glute and hamstring probably starting to fire right now, I'm assuming. Uh, yeah, a little bit, just a tad bit. Yeah. And again, now that we have done all those exercises, we're going to do a retest. So test, we did an assessment, and now we're going to do a retest and see where he's at. Let's do it on the, let's do it on there first, just like you normally would. All right, go ahead and step off now. Let's see if we fix anything. Torso is not leaning as forward, go ahead, keep going. And try to screw your feet into the ground. Okay, let's come on over here, cameraman. Go ahead and do a few reps. Okay, so one thing I am noticing, the torso is not leaning as far forward. Uh, the depth, don't worry about it, that's just a mobility thing. 
that all these exercises will help you do and you just continue doing. But one thing I'm noticing is your toes aren't going out as far. Go ahead and just do a few more reps. Okay. Good. So heels are flat on the floor now. Let's just do two uh, stretching out our calves and our anterior tibialis. You're good. I want to keep you doing it's so much. So, uh, do you do you feel a difference? No, I do. Okay. Actually. What what Especially do you feel? Well, with my feet, obviously, I can feel that they're not. You see in the video from the beginning, they're going out every time I was squat down to be here, then come down. Right. So you can obviously feel from a difference right away. Okay. My feet, for the most part, are staying here, not able to come down straight down. My heels, obviously, they're coming up from the beginning. I'll come here, come down, and my heels will pop up. Right. And like you can, you can actually feel it as well. I mean, I would come down, heels up, feet would squat down, and now I can feel my in the back uh, keep my arms straight as I'm coming down. Maybe not as much depth, but right. like I said, yeah, the, the, the depth is actually a lot harder when you do the overhead squat assessment as opposed to having like a barbell on your back and weight on your back. Right. So that's going to conclude this video. Try a couple of these exercises. You don't have to do all of these, but you kind of, you know, with this, you want to find what works best for you. Uh, I, in an ideal world, we would do this. All these ex exercises and stretches every day, 10, 20, 30 minutes a day, uh, but none of us live in an ideal world. I want you guys to notice that although it's not a groundbreaking difference from the before and after, there is still uh, quite a significant difference. We only had half an hour to work together and that was a pretty significant difference for that half hour. It's gonna be our video for today. So I wanna thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.